it'll go a little smoother now. Okay. So um, you're going to be using a pH meter. When you pull it out of the box, it looks like this. Okay. Now the container that it's in here, or the tip of the, the pH meter is in, is what protects the pH meter. Okay. If that tip of that pH meter gets dry and stays dry, it stops working. Okay. And you don't get good results. So when you take this out, the first thing you need to do, I've given you one of these glass containers right here. So simply put your pH meter in that like that so that it stands upright. Okay? Anytime you're not using the pH meter, leave it standing upright. Alright? This makes it easier then to remove the pH meter when you need to. You simply lift it up a little bit, loosen the cap. Not take it all the way out, just loosen the cap. Okay? just enough to allow some air to sort of seep in around the edges and pull the pH meter out. Okay? Now, like I said, if the pH meter tip ever becomes dry, it doesn't work anymore. So what we want to do is to make sure it stays damp. If you're not using it, you put it back in the container. But listen, don't put it back in the container when it's contaminated. When you put it in an acid or base, rinse it off with distilled water very, very well before you put it back in here. When you go from acid to acid, from one acid to another, rinse it off in between. Rinse it very, very well before you go from one acid to another. If you go from an acid to a base, rinse it off very well. You have rinse bottles. Guys, the rinse bottles that are marked water are the only ones you use to rinse it. Distilled water goes in the rinse bottle. Well, most of you have one with a blue top. That's the one with distilled water. Only put distilled water in that rinse bottle and only use that rinse bottle. Uh, only use that water for rinsing this tip. Does that make sense? Do not cross contaminate. Don't cross contaminate between the storage solution. Don't cross contaminate between an acid and an acid. Don't cross contaminate between an acid and a base. Rinse it off carefully in between. Shake it once. You got to get the drip of water off of there and then put it into whatever you're trying to measure. You got it? All right. Go to work.